Okay, so good afternoon, good morning, or good evening kung kailan nyo man ito papanoorin. So nagbago na konti yung ano, <laughs> yung Google Classroom. Medyo nanibago ako konti. Uh, but anyway, nag-improve naman. So <laughs> yan, enough with the Google Classroom. So for today, we will discuss ano, uh, Abraham Maslow and his holistic dynamic theory. No? So itong si Abraham Maslow, I think, Uh, ito siya yung unang humanistic uh, theorist na pag-uusapan natin. So the humanistic perspective is uh, somehow the opposite of psychoanalysis, wherein psychoanalysis uh, assume that people are inherently, let's just say, bad. <laughs> no, we are doomed to be to have a pathology. Uh, sa humanistic uh, perspective naman, they believe that people can achieve self-actualization no? or they can become the best person they could be. They can achieve a good mental health. And uh, it's a good thing to start with uh, Abraham Maslow and his holistic dynamic theory because it serves as a thread. No? Parang siya yung kumukonekta sa psychoanalysis tsaka sa psychodynamic, uh, psychoanalysis or psychodynamic perspective tsaka sa humanistic theory. Because some of his ideas came from psychoanalysis since nung una eh, psychoanalytic perspective siya tsaka behaviorist, no? which are very almost uh, intertwined. <laughs> Then eventually na-realize niya yung limitations and gumawa siya ng sarili niyang theory. And makikita niyo all throughout the the discussion, yung connection ng mga concepts ng psychoanalysis or psychodynamic perspective sa kanyang theory. Okay, so let's start with the, uh, with the man himself, Abraham Maslow. So si Abraham Maslow, uh, he has a high IQ, 195 during that time, but, it, uh, he, but it's not motivated enough to perform well in school. So siya yung average, hindi naman average kasi above average siya. No? So siya yung uh, typical high, in, mga typical intellectual people na sobrang taas ng IQ pero tamad. No? Parang si Shikamaru, kung kilala niya Shik Shikamaru ba yun yung sa, ano, sa Naruto? Yung shadow jutsu, uh, kage jutsu. No? So sobrang talino pero sobrang tamad din. Kasi hindi sila interesado. Ganon din si Maslow. No? To the point na nagkaroon siya ng academic probation ng ano siya. Although sa mga minor subjects niya yun. So, ilang beses siya nag-shift, no? Uh, so, he has a low social skills, just like any other intellectual people. Uh, and his wife was his first cousin, no? Si Bertha Goodman. Uh, and then she hates her religious mother to the point na hindi siya nag-attend sa funeral niya. Medyo malaking tito, no? Kasi, uh, kasi parang sabi niya, according sa kanya, neurotic daw yung mother niya. Uh, lagi niyang pinananakot si God sa kanila whenever whenever they are doing something na ayaw ng nanay niya. And then yun, sobrang hate niya yung nanay niya. Kaya nung namatay yung nanay niya, hindi siya pumunta, nagsulat pa siya ng something like, uh, parang bakit ako pupunta dyan? Masama yung ugali niya, masama. Wala siya na, wala siya na yung bag sa akin basically, parang yun sinasabi niya. But uh, yun. So, event, parang yun din yung naging dahilan kung bakit nagkaroon siya ng issues with the religion. Uh, he has atheistic beliefs. No? Maybe because of his mother. Pero kung makikita niyo yung trend sa mga psychologists, uh, mawala sila lahat. Yung religion nila is something that is not... Uh, hindi sila nagsumusunod sa isang mainstream na religion. Usually, sabi ko nga sa inyo, sa kanil, <laughs> meron silang own religion nila, which is yung theory of personality nila. Diba? So he trained as a psychoanalyst and as a behaviorist, as I've mentioned, but ended, ended up becoming uh, one of the pillars of humanistic perspective. Di ba? Nice. <laughs> uh, yan. So, so, yun. Masaya lang ng bagong Google Meet. Maganda yung ano niya. <laughs> yung kinakalikot. Anyway, so, overview ng holistic dynamic perspective, basically, it assumes that uh, the whole person, no, holistic, the whole is constantly motivated by one need or another. So people have the potential to grow towards psychological health, which he called self-actualization. <laughs> uh, lahat ng mga theories, meron, ano, meron silang version ng good mental health or good psychological health. No? From Si Freud lang yung wala. Si Jung, yung self-realization. Si Adler, Game and Shops, si, uh, si Si ano din, wala. Si... Si Hornay wala din kasi wala naman siyang sinabi about normal personality. Wala din si Klein. Uh, sino pa ba? Si, si ano, si, 
si Erickson, sabi niya yung uh, pag nakuha mo lahat ng basic strength, ego integrity. And then si Sullivan, wala din masyado. Basta kay, parang pareha sila ni, ano, ni Erickson na kailangan maganda yung mga relationships. No? So anyway, so yung mga ibang theories, meron silang definition of a good psychological health. And of course, syempre, yun yung signature ng mga humanistic perspective. Everyone can become the best version of themselves. Diba? So humanistic perspective is considered as the third force of psychology. First being the psychodynamic perspective. And then uh, second is behaviorism. And then the third is humanistic perspective. So yung behaviorism kasama din dito yung mga modifications niya. Um, like yung socio-cognitive. No? Yung, yung triadic ano, ni pangalan nito, si Bandura. Diba? So kasama din doon yung behaviorism. Although sabi nila may fourth force pa, which is yung cultural perspective. Pero iba na yun. Advanced ano na yun. <laughs> Sa mga classic muna tayo. Okay? So, Maslow's basic assum assumption. So, punta na tayo sa assumption ng kanyang theory. Ano ba yung foundations, kumbaga, ng theories ng, or ng theory ni Maslow, which is yung holistic dynamic perspective. Uh, coming from the title, no, holistic approach to motivation. So, uh, yung kasing theory ni Maslow, it's all about the motivation of a person. And motivation comes from needs, no? So, nag-intertwine din mga yan. So, pag meron kang need, eh, motivated ka to fulfill that need. Kaya, ano sila, very intertwined sila. So, ang sabi ni Maslow, holistic daw ang approach sa motivation. That is, the whole person, not any a single part or function is motivated. So, unlike psychoanalysis kasi, as I mentioned sa video natin about kay Maslow, na very uh, compartmentalized yung kanilang concept of motivation and needs. No? So, si Maslow, sabi niya, isa lang, buong tao yung motivated. Hindi lang yung id, hindi lang super ego, no? hindi lang yung neuro neurosis, no? hindi lang existential needs. No? Ang buong tao is motivated siya. And dahil lang buong tao is motivated, it, it will follow that motivation is complex. No? Meaning the person's behavior may spring from several separate motives. No? For example, sa book is ang ano nila, yung uh, the desire for sexual union may be motivated not only by genital need, but also by needs for dominance, no? by companionship, love, and self-esteem. So, hindi naman lahat ng mga tao ay eh, parang mga hayop na gusto lang ma-get laid because they want to get laid. No? Uh, kumbaga, they, they want to release the tension, hindi lang doon. Although, one part yun sa tao, Pero more than that, meron pang mga ibang mga needs na fulfill ang um, sexual union. Like in dominance, no? feeling uh, companionship, or feeling the love, and self-esteem. No? Kung baga, pag uh, meron kang uh, nagawa mo yun, eh, pan tumatas ng self-esteem. May mga ganun klaseng tao. Diba? So, very complex ang uh, motivation ng tao. And uh, people are continually motivated by one need or another. So, ibig sabihin, uh, the reason that why we move, why we do things, is because we are motivated, always motivated. When one need is it's satisfied, it ordinarily loses its motivational power and is then replaced by another need. So, pag na-fulfill mo yung isa, may lalabas na naman ng isa, di ba? For example, so as long as people hunger needs are frustrated, they will strive for food. And once na kuha na nila yung food, uh, meron na silang makakain, they move on to another basic uh, needs, which is your safety. Diba? After mo mabusog, tatago ka. Diba? Uh, pupunta ka sa lungga mo para hindi, hindi ka mano kasi naantok ka, ayaw mong gumalaw. Diba? And of course, uh, you want to share uh, companionship. No? You want friendship and of course, self-worth. So ano yan, uh, we are continually motivated by one need or another after we satisfy one. So all people everywhere are motivated by the same basic needs then. So lahat daw ng tao, kahit anong kultura pa yan, eh may para-parehas tayong mga basic needs. Lahat ng tao, I think, kailangan ng pagkain, kailangan ng safety, no? kailangan, ng, uh, kailangan ng friends. No? Kahit sabihin pa nilang uh, they are antisocial or something like that. They still need someone. Of course, ibang usapan na yung mga abnormal uh, spectrum. No? Uh, kapag merong uh, 4Ds na tinatawag, dangerous, uh, nakalimutan ko mas na, <laughs> yung dangerous, uh, uh, deviant, basta yun, hindi <laughs> ako nag-review. Anyway, so yun, yung mga, uh, mga ano na yun, yeah, ibang usapan na yung mga abnormal. So we're, 
as low is talking about the average no yung sa normal curve hindi yung mga extremes so people are motivated by the same basic needs uh, and needs no speaking of needs it can be arranged on a hierarchy ito yung pinaka sikat siguro si Maslow dito sa concept niya na to no yung pyramid <laughs> although yung mga iba nilalagyan ng nila extension sa baba ayan no? extension dito sa baba lalagyan ng wifi di ba <laughs> although syempre kasi yung wifi no <laughs> pag meron kang wifi madali na lang bumili ng pagkain kasi ipa food panda mo lang or what no pag may wifi ka feeling mo uh, belong ka din or something like that. although of course eh, complicated so kumbaga if you think it Uh, if you think about it more deeply, no? parang yung technology, technological advancements have some sort of effect dito sa hierarchy of needs na to. Kasi na-hack niya lahat eh. <laughs> so pag meron ka internet access, yung tatlong yan, actually yung apat, actually pwede din yung lima, eh pwedeng, uh, kumbaga pwede mo makuha sa uh, wifi or sa internet. <laughs> so physiological needs, so, pali-deliver ka, safety needs. Uh, di ako sure doon. Pero sa love and belonging na, social media, no? self-esteem din. Although it can backfire din kasi it, yung internet, lalo na sa Twitter, pagpunta ka sa Twitter, eh, toxic. No? Uh, imbis na maka- ma-fulfill mo yung need mo, eh, ibang need pala yung ma-fulfill, which is yung neurotic need na pag-uusapan natin din namin. So anyway, so uh, the needs we have are can be arranged in hierarchy. So what does it mean to be to for needs to be to have a hierarchy? So Maslow hierarchy of needs concept con- assumes that lower level needs must be satisfied or at least relatively satisfied before higher level needs become motivators. So ibig sabihin, uh, ang mga lower level needs yung mga nasa baba ng pyramid, yun muna dapat yung ipu-fulfill ng isang tao. Hangga't hindi niya na-fulfill yun, hindi niya hindi siya magmo-move on sa mga susunod niyang needs, yung pataas, no? So higher uh, lower level needs must be first met before going up to the higher needs. Kasi pag hindi mo muna satisfy yung lower level mo, eh, wala kang pakialam sa mga, mga susunod. No? Kung gutom ka, wala kang pakialam kung safe ka o hindi. Gutom ka eh, mahamatay ka pag di ka kumain. Di ba? So, uh, talagang wala na silang pakialam sa safety. No? Um, basta makakain na. And once na nakakain na, syempre magkakaroon ka ng uh, care about your safety and then so on. So yung mga needs na nasa hierarchy is tinatawag nating conative needs. No? Uh, meaning they have a striving or motivational character. So the most basic needs is yung tinatawag nating physiological needs na nasa pinakababa ng, uh, ng ating pyramid. No? So physiological needs, ang tawag ko dito is yung uh, pangangailangan ng katawang lupa natin. This includes water, food, oxygen, maintenance of body temperature, and of course, so on. No? Like, uh, included din dito yung uh, sex, no? Uh, or yung relieving of the te- uh, sexual tension. Uh, kasama dito yun. <coughs> so, katawang lupa nga. Basta katawang lupa. So, ito yung parang mga animalistic needs ng isang tao, no? So, these physiological needs are recurring in nature, meaning uh, after natin ma-fulfill to is, again, babalik siya. No, parang pabalik-balik siya. Para siya yung meme na ano yung pag tin, yung meme na si Simpsons ba yun basta tinulak tapos babalik sa likod yung ganun. So that is recurring, no. So uh, uh that's uh, that's self-explanatory na. So I don't have to ano na. And then of course after nating magkaroon ng uh, physiolog- meet yung physiological needs natin, nakakakain tayo ng tatlong be- dalawa or tatlong beses sa isang araw. And um, relatively speaking, meron tayong tubig, no? meron tayong, uh, meron tayong kumbaga, steady supply ng mga pangangailangan ng katawang lupa natin. Uh, magkakaroon na tayo ng, uh, magmumove on na tayo sa next level of need, which is yung safety needs. No? So when people have partially satisfied their physiological needs, no? uh, by the way, yung physiological needs pala, it's unique in a sense na yung mga physiological needs, it can be uh, satisfied 100%. Uh, yun nga lang ang drawback is kailangan mo ulit isatisfy. Kasi after nung 100%, magsi-0% ulit yan. No, Di ba? Pagkatapos mong kumain, magugutom ka ulit. No? Mag-record din siya. Uh, unique siya in a way na physiological needs lang yung pwedeng ma-fulfill ng 100%. Kasi yung ibang needs, hindi mo kayo, hindi, hindi sila, ne- never silang ma-fulfill uh, ng 100%. No? So, ayan. Uh, now, if na-fulfill na yung physiological needs, eh, pupunta na sa security. 
or safety needs no so this is, this is the need that motivates us to find our safety from kumbaga, physical security no stability in terms of financial stability uh, and all dependency bakit kailangan ng financial stability syempre kung wala kang finances kung wala kang pera wala kang pambili ng pagkain kung wala kang pambili ng pagkain magugutom ka Dependency, protection, freedom from threatening forces such as war, terrorism, illness, fear, anxiety, danger, chaos, and natural disaster. So, parang itong mga ito, uh, di, kumbaga motivated tayo na iwasan yung mga gantong klaseng, uh, gantong klaseng uh, mga scenario sa buhay natin. So, it, it differs from physiological needs because they cannot be overly saturated. People can never be completely protected from meteorites, floods, fires, and dangerous acts of others. Uh, whether we accept it or not, uh, it's not 100% that we are safe. No? Merong at merong chance na pwede tayong uh, matepok no? kahit anumang oras. So although that chance is, for, for, relatively speaking, if you're living in uh, uh, progressive countries, no? developing countries like the Philippines, eh, Hindi naman ganun kataas kumpara sa kung mabubuhay ka malapit sa mga war zones like Syria, like uh, Gaza, or something like that. No? Medyo mataas yung chance dun na magkaroon ng mga wars and terrorism. No? Pero dito sa Philippines, uh, no, uh, kahit hindi nyo mong tanggap or hindi, may relatively peaceful dito. Mas lalo na sa mga first world countries like uh, America, no? although America medyo... ginagawang meme siya kasi parang third world country siya. Pero technically speaking, economically speaking, it is still a first world country. O kaya sa mga European countries, Western Europe, the Eastern Europe. Ha? So Western Europe like uh, UK uh, and uh, basta yun, hindi, hindi ko memorize yung mga bansa doon. <laughs> basta alam ko lang UK. <laughs> Russia, hindi, yun yung Russia. Sweden, yan yan. No? Uh, Iceland. No? Huwag kayo pupunta sa Greenland dahil puro ice doon. Sa Iceland doon may green. Alam niyo ba yun? Anyway, so, yun. Yeah. Uh, of course, again, it's not 100% pa rin. Kahit sa mga lugar na yun, eh, may chance pa rin. For example, baka biglang tamaan ng bulalakaw yung dun, di ba? So, na silang magagawa. So, and also, some adults also feel relatively unsafe, no? Because they retain irrational fears from childhood that cause them to act as if they were afraid of parental punishment. Kung uh, naalala niyo yung mga discussions natin sa psychoanalysis, may mga irrational fears tayo, may mga neurotic uh, anxiety ang mga tao kung minsan no, na din, dinala pa nila from their childhood. So once na hindi nila na, ano yun, kumbaga, hindi, nila, hindi sila nakamove on dun, eh, mag-spend sila ng more energy no, to uh, than other healthy people in those kinds of anxiety, no, in those kinds of worries. So, They suffer from what Maslow called basic anxiety. So may basic anxiety din si Maslow. And usually yun niya, yung basic anxiety na to, uh, it's not anxiety, kumbaga it's, uh, it, comes from an irrational, uh, it comes from irrational fears. Not only in childhood, but of course, yung kunyari, di ba? Kung masyada naman praning, naisip ng isang tao, eh, biglang may babagsak na bulala ka. And uh, if you will look at the odds that a meteorite will fall on your house and kill you, it's very low. No, very low as in 0.000001%. No? Parang uh, although yung mga tao kasi we're not trained or we're not wired to think statistically, so uh, ang 1% chance para sa atin is still a chance. <laughs> di, di natin maano. Kaya nga meron maraming mga anti-vax people. No? Ano din yun sa safety needs din yun eh. Related din sa safety needs yun eh, yung anti-vaccine people. No? Why do they fear vaccine? Uh, it's not because... they are dumb, no? As opposed sa mga sinasabi na hindi sila nag-iisip or what. In fact, they're thinking, kumbaga, they're very, ano naman, they're very, uh, meron naman kasing credit, kumbaga, yung worry nila. Yun nga lang, it is misplaced. Anong ibig kong sabihin? For example, uh, they are afraid of COVID, uh, they are afraid of this kind of vaccine because they've seen one news na kung saan nagkaroon ng blood clot, yung dalawang, uh, Uh, isa, minsan niya, isang tao lang, isang tao, no? nagkaroon siya ng blood clot after niyang i-take yung vaccine. And then, malalaman mo yung taong yan is 70 years old na or 60 plus years old na. And then, meron siya mga priors, no? meron siyang sakit sa, dug- sa puso or something. And then, out of 100 million na naturukan nung vaccine na yun, eh siya lang yung nagkaroon na ganun na kaso. Pero dahil siya ang pinorfront, 
media, alam nyo man sa media, gusto nila ng clicks, gusto nila ng emotions, and usually emotions of anxiety is very mabenta sa internet. So yun lang yung papakita. So ano mangyayari sa mga tao? They will assume that that person represents the whole sample or the whole population na kung saan tinurukan ng vaccine yung mga tao. So hindi nila, uh, hindi, hindi sila trained, hindi sila, hindi kumbaga, Uh, actually, as a person kasi, hindi natin ma-imagine yung 100 million. Uh, I think hanggang ang ma-imagine, ang mag-grasp lang ng mga brains natin is 100 people. And then pag, uh, pag nag-exceed na sa 100 people, uh, para-parehas na lang sa atin yung 100 people. 1,000, we, we cannot really comprehend 1,000. What more pa yung 1 million and 100 million? Hindi natin mag-grasp yun. So, pag nagkaroon ng isang case doon, feeling natin eh napakataas ng chance when in fact, statistically speaking, it's very low. No? And it might not be because of the vaccine but because of other factors, extraneous variables like yun nga, the age of the the age of the patient, the uh, the prior diseases of the patient, no? Yung mga yun, pinapataas yung chance mo na magkaroon ng side effect na malala yung vaccine. Pero kung wala ka namang ganun, <laughs> and then out of ano lang talaga out of, out of 100 million isa or dalawa lang ang nakaranas ng ganun. Ang hindi logical to assume that the vaccine caused that because it's very random. But again, people are sometimes irrational. Now, we cannot comprehend the statistics. We cannot comprehend statistics because our brains are just wired to 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 track at least 10 to 100 people. Diba? So, nagkakaroon ng irrational fear. Nagkakaroon ng ano, sa safety. And then eventually, magkakaroon ka ng basic anxiety. And your respond to basic anxiety, of course, is some irrational activities like becoming an anti-vaccine person. Diba? Kaya kayo pag meron ng vaccine, you, you take your vaccine na. Okay? Kasi so far, out of, uh, out of uh, millions of millions, ilan lang ang naka- na nakaranas ng mga extreme side effects. Kumbaga, the risk uh, is very low and the benefit is very high. No? So anyway, that's safety needs. Biglang napunta sa vaccine yan. <laughs> Next is yung love and belongingness. Once na feel mo na na safe ka, no? dun ka palang magkakaroon ng urge. Supposedly, sabi ni Maslow, to have, uh, to prioritize love and belongingness. No? Such as our desire for friendship, no? our wish for mate and children, the need to belong a family, a club, neighborhood, or a nation. No? Pinoy pride. No? So love and belongingness also includes some aspect of sex and human contact as well as need to give both and uh, give both give and receive love. So people who have had their love and belongingness needs adequately satisfied from early years do not panic panic when they denied love. So yung mga kumbaga, secure attachment kasi alam nila may nagmamahal sa kanila. Second group of people are those who never experience love, no? And so they are they do not know how to give love. And ang pinakamalala daw actually yung parang, parang mas malala pa sa second group is yung third group of people sabi ni Maslow. No, kung saan naka-receive lang sila ng konting love. And as a result, eh parang hinahanap-hanap nila yung love na yon. And usually these kinds of people, they become very insecure if they do not receive that love from other people no much like the anxious resistant attachment ah yun so siguro uh, before tayo mag move on dito sa love and belongingness no? baka may magsabi eh, sir paano yung mga uh, maagang nabubuntis ah uh, di ba parang pagbaga kang nabuntis usually hindi pa naman fulfilled yung stability needs safety needs no yung baka nga pati physiological needs hindi pa satisfied bakit yung mga ibang tao they, they tend to go there <laughs> First of all, that's uh, one criticism of uh, this hierarchy of needs. No? Bakit, you know? But second, uh, kasi how do you make babies? Ba? You have a sexual union. And sexual union is also considered as physiological needs. So it can become, uh, it can become a side effect. <laughs> diba? Side effect yung bata. And uh, baka rin may magsabi, ba di, sila, ba di, di ba nila naisip? Di ba nila? No? Uh, usually... Hindi mo naman din kasi ma- kumbaga if you're in that scenario na you can kumbaga there are people that they will not think about it. And as I mentioned or as Maslow mentioned the the ano is the ano tawag dito the the motivation of people are complex, no? 
uh, as I as mentioned kanina, the sexual union, it can be possible that akala nila, if they will have their children, if they will have the baby, eh, masasagot yung pangangailangan nila. No? For exa- Kasi usually, pag nagkakaroon ng anak na ganyan, gusto nila maging stable na, gusto nila magkaroon ng sariling pamilya. No? Uh, they want to live on their own. Uh, akala nila, if they will do that, eh, ma- ma-achieve na nila yung stability. But actually, it's it's the opposite. Uh, so, kung titignan mo, the motivation is still the motivation is still hierarchical in a sense na ang way lang ng kanilang pag-achieve or pag-satisfy ng need is not the greatest decision they will make. Diba? Uh, so, ang nangyari is akala uh, nila if they will have a child, they can have the stability, no? they can have the physiological needs met. But in reality, it's not. So that's why it's very important to educate the uh, people about ano, no, about reproductive health so that uh, alam nila kung ano may napasok nila. Not only reproductive health but also yung re- repercussions no? kung magkakaroon ka ng uh, blessing. <laughs> Actually, it's not na... Uh, basta ang daming ano doon, no? ang daming... Hindi, ang daming issue doon na hindi lang naman... Hindi siya... Hindi lang psychological actually. It's more of a sociological issue na din. Cultural din, in fact. No? Kaya hindi natin masasagot yan using only Maslow's theory. And baka maligaw na yung discussion natin. But uh, my point is, hindi naman nasira yung hierarchical needs ni Maslow doon. If you will look at the uh, the motive, no? yung the deeper motive, nag-iba lang talaga yung uh, mode of achieving the need. No? Okay. So next is yung esteem needs. So sa esteem needs naman, uh, the extent that people satisfy their love and belongingness needs, they are free to pursue esteem needs. So esteem needs, uh, these are the this this needs uh, motivates us to uh, to to want to have self-respect, confidence, competence, and knowledge that uh, other people regard us in high esteem. So pag nakakain na tayong maayos, no, stable na tayo. Alam natin na may nagmamahal sa atin, pupunta na tayo dun sa esteem needs natin which is yung parang gusto natin magkaroon naman ng something na meron tayong accomplishment, no? Meron tayong uh, kubaga yung tingin na ng ibang tao, tsaka tingin na natin sa sarili natin, no? Ah, uh, yung bang ibang tao tingin nila sa akin is maganda, no? Or yung tingin ko ba sa sarili ko is okay din, no? So, ang reputation, so in esteem needs dito na nag-uumpisa nagbi-build ng reputation self-esteem ng tao. So reputation, it is the perception of the prestige, recognition, or fame a person has achieved in the eyes of others, whereas self-esteem is a person's own feelings of worth and confidence. So reputation is what other people say to you no? or say about you. Uh, and then self-esteem naman is what you yourself say about yourself. No, It's based on, it's based more on... Uh, kumbaga, it's based on more than reputation or prestige. It reflects a desire for strength for achievement, for adequacy, for mastery and competence, for confidence in the face of the world, and for independence and freedom. So reputation kasi, it's very it's very dependent sa tingin ng iba. No? So for example, ang reputation mo as a professional. No? So syempre, kung anong sasabihin ng ibang tao sa iyo, you have to care about that. Sa self-esteem kasi, you do not really care about what other people will say. You only care about your desire to become more powerful. No? They are powerful na evil kind of powerful. Ibig sabihin, you have more control about your life, di ba? For achievement, for adequacy, for mastery. So, yun. For example, let's say may mga ibang, sa graduate school. So, sa graduate school, may dalawang klaseng tao or may dalawang mot- klaseng motivation na nag, or, nag, nag, anong, nag-ano dyan. No? Bakit nag-grad school yung tao? Kasi yung graduate school, it's very tiring, it's very... Uh, extended studies is very generally very ano din, very tiring and very time consuming and money consuming no Baka, bakit iba gusto nila yan so unang una may mga tao na gusto nilang uh, uh, yung reputation nila di ba? what other people will say to them no it can be institutionalized for example kailangan kasi sa trabaho for promotion so it's a part of reputation kung ano yung sasabihin ng ibang tao or ibang institution about say that's why they take grad school and then there are others naman that they take grad school because just because they want to learn, because they want to become more, uh, they want to master their craft, di ba? Kaya sila nagmamaster. So self-esteem yun. And uh, the thing is, it's not, hindi naman mutually exclusive to. Ibig sabihin, 
uh, you can desire for self-esteem at the same time reputation. Diba? Dula namang ano dan. Hindi naman di sila incompatible. And actually, it's better to focus on self-esteem because if you focus on self-esteem, mas mataas yung chance na magiging maganda din naman ang reputation mo. Diba? Uh, Kung baga, parang it, they will go hand in hand naman if you focus on self-esteem. Although, ako, baka ako lang. <laughs> Hindi ako sure kung ganun nga yung case. No? Uh, kasi reputation, you cannot control what other people will say about you. So, if, some, if that is something that you cannot control, it can become a source of disappointment, can become a source of stress. No? So, at least kung self-esteem, kumbaga yung you're challenging yourself, not other people naman. So, if you fail, it's on you. No? Wala kang, hindi less pressure kasi ikaw lang naman. Wala nang iba, di ba? So, that is esteem needs. Now, other people, they stop at esteem needs. Most people, actually, nag-stop na sila sa esteem needs because uh, uh, yung susunod na need, which is yung self-actualization needs, is only exclusive for people who are, who have some traits or who have some values na uh, very specialized sa kanila. No? So, but uh, regardless, we will talk about more sa self-actualization na maya. But regardless, what are the self-actualization needs? So, self-actualization needs include self-fulfillment, the realization of one's potential and a desire to become creative in the full sense of the word, no? So, kumbaga, ang esteem needs is just a mastery of yourself. It's just a mastery of your uh, own surroundings. So, self-actualization naman, it's actually your own potential. Kumbaga, yung maximum potential mo, di ba? So, kumbaga, yung max level, di ba? Kasi, kanyari, sa mga online games, hindi mo naman kailangan mag-max level para matapos yung game. Pero may mga ibang tao, na. No? gagawin nila mag max level sila bago nila matapos isang game. So, self actualization 'yan, yung going to your maximum level. So, when lower level needs are satisfied, people proceed more or less automatically to the next level. However, yun nga, says team needs are met, they do not always move to the self actualization. So, self actualizing people maintain their feelings of self esteem even when scorned, rejected, dismissed by other people. So, in other words, self actualizers are not dependent on the satisfaction of either love or esteem needs. They become independent from lower level needs that gave them birth. So, parang self actualization. Uh, hindi na siya masyadong focus sa esteem needs. Parang ibang level na siya. So, parang yun na yung esteem niya, di ba? Yung parang higher level of esteem na. Uh, di na siya masyadong, wala na masyadong pakialam sa reputation. Although usually yung mga self actualizers, they have good reputation. Because it follows eh. Because if, if mataas na yung self-esteem mo, nagsa-self actualize ka na, parang yung reputation mo is magpo-follow na lang, di ba? Uh, people will have a hard time not noticing you. Parang ganun yung mga self actualizing. Because you're maximizing all of your levels. Yung mga stats mo, kung maga, lang yung level cap ng yamari is level 99 ni naya 99 mo lahat parang ganon di ba so sa mga gamers yan siguro gets nila <laughs> so yun so yung so yun yung mga needs na nasa hierarchy so a bit of uh, na lang sa so, uh, summary lang kung bago these needs are again they are very uh, may prepotency yung lower level needs ibig sabihin pag hindi mo na-fulfill yung lower level needs mo, hindi kang pwede mag-move on. So this is the reason why people who are, who are starving, they do not really care about their esteem. Wala silang pakialam sa reputasyon nila, wala silang pakialam sa self-esteem nila kasi para sa kanila, important is kumain sila. Or o kaya naman, they do not really care about their safety. Di ba? Bakit, sila, bakit nila isusugal yung safety nila kung kumakalam naman ang sikmura nila? I mean, kumbaga isusugal nila yung safety nila kasi kumakalam na yung sikmura nila, di ba? Kung baga, kung, <laughs> kung magiging ano sila, masyado silang uh, uh, anxious about their safety, eh, parang, <laughs> hindi ba dapat mas, masaging anxious sila na baka mamatay sila sa starvation? Diba? So, ganun din sa mga ibang needs. So, kung baga, hindi pa stable yung isang tao according kay Maslow, financially stable, uh, Uh, safety needs niya is di na met, no? For example, very dangerous yung country or yung place na, na tinitirahan niya, eh, mababa ang chance na maging siyang uh, mag-strive uh, siya for reputation and self-esteem. No? Kasi hindi na-fulfill yung safety needs. Kaya yung mga war-torn areas or war-torn countries, uh, yung mga tao doon, they have a hard time uh, earning. They have a hard time uh, uh, picking themselves up because safety pa lang, wala na. Paano pa kaya yung Uh, esteem nila. No? They do not really... Kumbaga, 
it's not that they do not care, but <laughs> they are forced to not care about it because meron ang hierarchy of needs. Diba? So, yun. <clears throat> Ganun yung hierarchy of needs. So, other than those needs na nasa hierarchy, eh, meron pa mga other needs na minention si uh, Maslow. So, other needs like aesthetic needs, no? So, aesthetic needs is not universal, but at least some people in every culture seem to be motivated by the need for beauty and aesthetically pleasing experiences. May mga tao talaga na gusto nila pretty yung mga nakikita nila, no? Uh, maganda yung, uh, maganda yung, yung surroundings nila, no? And usually, yung women are of have high aesthetic needs compared to men in general. But that's not to say that uh, men are not uh, motivated by aesthetic needs. Maraming mga lalaki ang talaga mataas ang aesthetic needs. And me, on the other hand, <laughs> no. Uh, as long as it works, I do not really care about the aesthetics of things. No? Uh, hindi ako ganun ka artist sa workplace ko, no? basta nag nag-work yung workplace ko. No? So, yun, okay lang ako doon. But there are people nga na mataas ang aesthetic needs. And then cognitive needs, most people have a desire to know, to solve mysteries, to understand, and to be curious. I think this is the need that I have, no? Na mataas ang need ko dito, cognitive needs. I want, to, I want to know things. I want to solve mysteries. I want to understand. So, uh, and this is universal, I think. No? Uh, lahat ng tao are dri driven to know more. Yeah, this is the reason why ang, ang lakas ng chismis natin, di ba? Bakit ang lakas ng urge natin na malaman yung kwento ng ibang tao? No? And in an evolutionary perspective, th this makes sense because information, if you have an information about other people, you are most likely to survive. Kung alam mo na ganito yung kwento niya, hindi mo siya trigger sa ganito, so hindi, hindi ka niya hindi kanya sisirain or di kanya ano or kung alam mong sirain yung isang tao eh kubaga mas tumataas yung chance mo na mabuhay kasi mas tumataas yung power or something like that kaya yung mga tao is very curious uh, and not only in the social setting but also in a uh, natural setting so kung kung hindi curious yung tao no kung paano nagwo-work yung mga bagay-bagay eh hindi siya magsu-survive no kasi ang mga humans uh, prehistorically speaking we're the very we're very weak no, wala tayong claws, wala tayong uh, sharp teeth, no? wala tayong big muscles, no? <laughs> ano meron lang tayo, utak. Uh, we can understand things and uh, that's the reason why tayo yung naging uh, dominant species. Although may mga drawbacks like tayo lang yung nakaka-experience nakaka ng anxiety, no? existential crisis, tayo lang meron ganyan. But anyway, that's another topic. No? Okay, uh, Eric Fromm. Eh. <laughs> so... Ah, uh, yun nga lang uh, some people may disagree with me na hindi yung mga ibang tao wala nang pakilom sa mga information tsaka sa mystery and understanding. No? That can be the case. Pwede kasi mangyari ko baga uh, yung mga people na nung bata sila eh, hindi na satisfy yung cognitive nila, needs nila eh Ah, uh, kumpara kaya nung bata sila, niloloko sila lagi, no? Tao kaya naman nung bata sila kasi 'di ba yung, yung mga bata usually napakamatanong nila. Nakakainis yung mga bata pag, bata, pag, ano, pag bata pa sila kasi tanong sila ng tanong. And that's good actually because it's, uh, it's a sign of curiosity. And that is a sign of humanity. Yun nga lang, ibang mga parents, alam niya naman, lalo na di sa Pilipinas, no? pag, may, pag nagtatanong yung bata, Mami, Mami, bakit ganito? Bakit ganyan? Tapos yung, uh, yung nanay parang mafo-frustrate, ah, kulit-kulit mo, kaya magtanong. So ano mangyayari sa bata? Parang, Mas stifle yung need niya for cognitive needs. Parang, ay, hindi pala ako sasagutin. Huwag na lang akong magtanong. Huwag na lang akong mag-curious. Sayang lang yung effort. No? On the other hand, kapag yung bata is talagang inano mo sa curiosity niya, nagtanong, sasagutin mo. Kung di mo alam, di mo sasagot. Uh, kung, kung di mo alam yung tanong sa, eh, sagot sa tanong niya, sabihin mo, hindi ko alam, pero try mong hanapin. No? So, pwede naman na ma-develop yung cognitive needs niya. No? So, kung kayo magkakaroon na kayo ng anak, gusto niyo maging matalino yung anak niyo, uh, pag nagtatanong yan, sagutin nyo. Uh, as accurate as possible. Huwag nyo iisipin na hindi nila maintindihan. Kasi maintindihan nila yan. Huwag nyo maliitin yung mga bata. They're very smart. And kapag yun yan, hindi mo na alam kung ano sagot sa mga tanong, eh, bigyan mo siya ng libro. Oh, ito yung libro, basahin mo. Baka nandiyan yung tanong. Nandiyan yung sagot sa tanong mo. Tatali na yung alak nyo. <laughs> diba? So, when cognitive needs are blocked, uh, all needs on Maslow's hierarchy are threatened because kung hindi mo alam, kung hindi ka marunong mag-gather ng information, mag-solve ng mysteries, mahirapan ka ding mag-gather uh, ng knowledge necessary to satisfy each of the cognitive needs. Dito na naman papasok yung uh, teenage pregnancy. Kung hindi masyadong na-educate or na 
na solve nung bata, yung mystery, yung understanding nung uh, child making, and yung repercussions nung child making, and mar- mataas ang tendency na hindi niya nga masasatisfy yung kanya mga uh, cognitive needs. And usually, ganun yung nangyayari. Kaya talaga nagkaka-problem ang mga, uh, mga bata na maagang nabubuntis, yung hindi pa sila ready. Because, hin- kumbaga, na-block yung cognitive need nila. Hindi sila na inalaw ng society or ng ano nila na malaman kung ano ba yung repercussions ng mga activities na ginagawa nila. ba? Diba? <coughs> so, yun. Next is yung neurotic needs. Uh, by definition, neurotic needs are non-productive. They perpetuate an unhealthy style of life and have no value in the striving for self-actualization. So, neurotic needs are usually the active that is they serve as compensation for unsatisfied basic needs. So, there are times that uh, if hindi na satisfy yung mga cognitive needs natin, we have the tendency to become neurotic. So, for example, yung mga hindi na satisfy yung safety needs, no? magkakaroon sila ng neurotic need to fear everything, no? to become uh, obsessive or compulsive about something. For example, yun nga sa COVID-19, ano, kakaroon sila ng neurotic need na feeling nila sila yung tama na eh <laughs> dito to yung covid din yun, yan uh, i personally believe that this is covid puti na lang binad na yung may phd pa man din <laughs> anyway so uh, magkakaroon ng neurotic needs if hindi na satisfy yung mga basic needs di ba so ayun okay so general discussions about uh, needs no Uh, Maslow estimated that the hypothetical average uh, person has is, uh, kumbaga, ito yung average na kung saan dapat i-fulfill ng isang tao yung needs niya. So, physiological, at least 85%. Sa safety needs, at least 17%. Because never magiging 100% ng safety needs, as I've mentioned, dahil uh, <laughs> may chance na mangyari yung mga bagay na mangyayari. And love and belongingness, 50%. No? So, hindi mo naman kailangan talagang lahat mahal ka. No? Kasi hindi mangyayari yun. May mga tao nga ayawan ka. At okay lang yan. At least naman may 50% na may gusto pa rin sa'yo. Esteem needs, 40% is okay. And then self-actualization is 10% lang daw, sabi ni Maslow. No? So, hindi na kailangan i-100% ng self-actualization because it's very hard in the first place. So, and then yung reverse order of needs, sabi ko nga, may mga nagka-criticize kay Maslow na uh, yung needs daw is minsan nag-reverse. No? For example, yung mga starving artists na tinatawag na Tinatapos nila muna yung mga activities nila, yung mga paintings nila, yung mga projects nila before sila kumain or before sila. Kaya na nagkakasakit yung iba, no? So, si Eiichiro Oda, yung author ng One Piece, please lang, magpahinga ka, huwag kang magagaya kay <laughs> author ng Berserk. <laughs> Tapusin mo yung One Piece, please. <laughs> anyway, so, may mga taong ganun. So, ang sabi ni Maslow, uh, hindi naman daw talaga nag-reverse yung needs, no? Uh, ang nagkakataon lang talaga is, yun niya, iba lang yung manifestation ng fulfilling ng needs. Kasi it might be the case that uh, these people, these starving artists, are doing their their art, their project, to fulfill actually their basic needs. Kasi pag nagtapos nila yung painting nila or yung project nila, it can sell. And uh, pag nabenta yan, may pera sila, pambiling pagkain, pambiling bahay, pambiling ng lupa, no? Kaya, pag siyempre, pag yumaman sila, mataas ang chance nila na magkaasawa sila or something like that. And yung uh, reputation and self-esteem nila is na doon. So, uh, un- unconscious mo- uh, unconsciously, they're still motivated by the lower level needs. No? Yun nga lang yung kanilang manifestation is iba. Kasi may mga, may mga tao talagang ganun. So, and then, may mga unmotivated behavior. Sabi ni Maslow, there are some behaviors that is not caused by needs, uh, but, uh, but they are caused by other factors such as cog- uh, conditioned reflexes, maturation, or even drugs. Diba? Uh, usually, my expressive behaviors or unmotivated behaviors. No? So, ano ba expressive behavior? So, expressive behavior, it's often an end in itself, serves no other purpose than to be. No? For example, yung paano, maglaka, paano lumakad yung isang tao, which is yung gait, gestures, no? voice, smile. Minsan part lang talaga ng personality, may expressive behavior. Kailangan mo lang gawin yung ganyan-ganyan, di ba? So, or even smile, no? even when alone. Uh, for example, di, 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 wala ka naman motive, bakit ka mag-smile kung ikaw lang mag-isa, di ba? <laughs> ano yung parang to manipulate yourself. Although, pwede din. No? And then coping behavior naman are ordinarily conscious, effortful, learned, and determined by external environment. 
So it involves uh, individuals attempt to cope with the environment, to secure food and shelter, to make friends and receive acceptance, appreciation, and prestige from others. So coping behavior is uh, sort of like how you fulfill the need. And we have different ways of coping, no? uh, of uh, fulfilling our needs. Depende sa naging environment natin. Iba ang way ng mga taong lumaki sa war-torn country compared sa mga first world country na relatively peaceful yung kanilang lugar. Uh, mas, uh, kumbaga, mas rugged yung mga nasa war zone and yung mga, medyo may mga first world problems yung mga nasa first world. Diba? Iba, alam nyo yung first world problems, di ba? So, yun. <coughs> General discussion of needs. So obviously, the privation of physiological needs uh, can result in so, into some kind of pathology. So, so physiological needs, of course, pag hindi na fulfill yan, malnutrition, fatigue, loss of energy, and then obsession of with sex. No, Kunyari, kulang sa ano, kulang sa ganyang classing activity and so on. And then threat to one safety. Shempre magkakaroon ka ng anxiety, di ba? Uh, social anxiety, general anxiety, and so on. And then lack of self-esteem or lack of esteem results to illnesses of self-doubt, no? self-depreciation, and lack of confidence. And we have seen how this lack of confidence can affect people in their lives. No? Imbis na magkaroon sila maraming opportunities na nalilimitahan sila because hindi nila nalapu-fulfill yung mga esteem needs nila. And then deprivation of self-actualization needs also leads to pathology. So yung mga iba nagsa-self-actualize and hindi nila nakukuha, eh, may mga times na magkakaroon sila ng pathology. Although by definition kasi, self-actualizers are free from psychopathology. So I don't understand why why is there a need for Maslow to <laughs> to say this. Diba? Parang self-contradictory ka Maslow. <laughs> But anyway, even let's discuss it for the sake of discussion. Metapatholo metapathology, the absence of values, the lack of commitment, and loss of meaning in life. So, ah, siguro na, ang, ang ibig niya sabihin dito, yung mga taong hindi nag, nakapag-reach or nakareach ng self-actualization, they might lose their meaning in life. No? Kunyari, they are striving for something and then they were disappointed and then uh, nawala yung meaning. Ng, pero by definition, hindi ka na self-actualization. Kasi sabi niya, yung mga self-actualizers daw, they, they tend to understand the reality of life. No? Kapag, di ba, part ng reality ng buhay na minsan, magkakamali ka, minsan magkakamali ka. So, pag, anyway, so, uh, this is, uh, I'm just so showing you that you don't have to believe 100% sa mga theories na na babasa niyo. Minsan may mga ano din sila, hmm, ano din sabi mo? Dahil <laughs> na si Freud, di ba? Pero yung mga iba din, yung mga humanistic din, parang, hmm, sure ka, parang gano'n. <laughs> yeah, it's important that you really read, you really understand. Because there are some things na, questionable. No, we're not actually judging their theory. We're just uh, we're just actually pointing out some flaws, no? Sa mga theories nila because no one is perfect. No theory is perfect as I mentioned. There are some limitations talaga and some inconsistencies sa mga theories nila. But still there's they, they are useful, no? So we have to respect that. No? We are not bashing the the theories We are, we are criticizing, you know, constructive criticizing the uh, the theory itself. No, hindi mo alam tayong pakilam talaga masaya sa tao mismo. Asa tao lang yan. Pero kung kagamali yan, na <laughs> perfect tong perfect, no? perfect na tao. Next, the instinctoid nature of needs. Uh, Maslow hypothesized that some human needs are innately determined, even though they can be modified by learning. So, sex, for example, is a basic physiological need, but the manner in which we it is expressed depends on learning. No, may mayro mga tao kasi kung baga, uh, uh, sex is uh, global or universal need siya. Although, sure, may mga asexual tayong uh, mga population, but they are very rare. No. Uh, di naman, kubaga hindi sila yung general population, but in the general population na have a need for sex. So, uh, we have all those kind of needs, but the manner in which we express or in which we fulfill that need is always different from people to people. No? Iba-iba yung mga, iba natin mga ano nila, iba-iba yung mga kinks or what nila, di ba? So comparison of higher and lower needs, first higher le level needs are later on phylogenetic or evolutionary scale. For instance, only humans 
have a need for self-actualization. Uh, ang ibig sinya sabihin dito, kung papansin niyo kasi yung table, uh, very reminiscent or very salient yung fact na yung nasa baba, yung mga lower level needs, they are, mo, they are the uh, un, more animalistic side of humanity. No? Physiological, we, um, kumbaga na share pa natin to with other animals. Physiological needs, of course, lahat ng mga tao, kailangan yan, and, and yung mga animals din. Yun nga lang. And safety needs also. No? Uh, pe- uh, animals needs to, be, needs to feel safe. No? Uh, and then yung mga mammals naman, yung other mammals and other higher, uh, higher order na mga, ev- higher order evolutionary mga animals na ha- ma- kumbaga malapit sa evolutionary scale, uh, evolutionary tree natin, they also lo- want love and belongingness. No? Especially mammals, yung mga mammals and other reptiles. Yung mga matatandang <laughs> mga hayop na. And then sa esteem needs, uh, mostly humans lang. Although yung mga ibang mammals din like whales and uh, dolphins and great apes, they have uh, some esteem needs din, no? Uh, and then ang humans lang ang nagsa-self-actualize no? <laughs> sa evolutionary ano, natin. So kumbaga, uh, the more na nag, kumbaga, itong mga higher needs natin, uh, kumbaga correlated sa sa uh, more complex development ng brain. The more complex ang development ng brain ng isang animal, eh, the more na nagiging complex yung mga needs niya. Di ba? Parang ano, uh, uh, ito yung parang dichotomy ni... Kumbaga si from dichotomy sa kanya, yung need to be united with nature and with other people and then yung uh, self-awareness. Uh, si ano naman, si Maslow naman, ginawa niyang hierarchy. No? Ginawa niyang uh, step by step. Okay? So, ayan. Next, uh, so you know, tapos na tayo sa needs, tapos na tayo din sa mga motivations natin. So let's go back, mag-backtrack tayo ng konti sa mga, sa self-actualization kasi pinahapyawan lang natin. So self-actualization, who are these people? Sino yung mga nagsa-self-actualize na to? So basically, as mga self-actualized people, no, as I mentioned kanina, they are the people that wants, uh, that have this need to become self-fulfilled they want to be creative in the every sense of the word. Ibig sabihin, they want to create relationships. They want to create projects. They want to create something more bigger than themselves. No? Yung mga taong nag sa transcendence nila. Uh, yung mga nagsa self-realization, yung mga nagkakaroon ng syndrome of growth. No? So what are the criteria ba for you to be, ka- to be able to self-actualize? So meron sinabing four criteria si Maslow. So first is that they are free from psychopathology. So if you have a psychopathology, hindi ka na pwede maging self-actualized. <laughs> Ganun yung ano niya, no? napaka-strict. And then second, uh, self-actualizing people had progressed through the hierarchy of needs and therefore lived above the substance level of existence and had no ever-present threat to their safety. So ibig sabihin, kailangan fulfilled ka mula physiological hanggang self-esteem needs. Hindi ka pwede mag-skip na self-actualization la agad, pero gutom ka. <laughs> Hindi daw pwede yun, sabi niya. Uh, pero baka may magsabi, eh sir, si Odi Big Sabin, si Mahatma Gandhi na nag-hunger strike lagi, eh hindi siya self-actualized. No, because <laughs> hindi naman siya forever gutom, di ba? <laughs> may mga times lang na nag-hunger uh, strike siya, pero may times nakakain pa din siya. And hindi naman siya hindi, kumbaga, choice niya na hindi kumain. Pero kung gusto niya, pwede siyang kumain. So relatively safe siya, relatively uh, secured yung physiological and safety needs niya and yung esteem needs niya. No? Uh, actually, yung esteem needs niya talagang nag, nag, ano eh, nag-flip eh. From being a lawyer, naging siyang activist talaga na eh, diniscard lahat ng ownership. No? So anyway, so yun, self-actualizing, mas, uh, self-actualizing people mas fulfilled yung buong hierarchy. And then Maslow, third criterion, and the most important one is yung embracing of B values. So, they discuss natin yan. Being values yung mga yan. Pag wala ka nito, kahit na-fulfill mo lahat ng uh, actualization, ay hindi, kahit na-fulfill mo lahat ng hierarchy hanggang esteem, eh, hindi ka mag-move on self-actualization kung hindi ka nag embrace ng B values. And then fourth, self-actualizers fulfill their need to grow, to develop, and increasingly become what they are, were capable of becoming. So parang ang ano dito, ang, ang metaphor dito or ang analogy dito is 
uh, parang mga seeds tayo mga tao no for example uh, oak seed no uh, sabi natin mangga <laughs> seeds ng mangga no uh, pag yung mangga eh na fulfill niya yung physiological needs yung water yung air and sunlight no mga food niya yon and then safe siya walang pumuputol sa kanya walang uh, walang nag na may mesti sa kanya and then uh, syempre ang mangyayari is and then feeling niya na love siya <laughs> oh kasi mga plants they also feel love no pag lagi silang dinidiligan kinakausap sila tas ang tendency na mamunga sila yung pagbubunga nila that is uh, uh, congruent to self esteem needs no yun nga lang uh, kumbaga Uh, para mas ma-fulfill pa nila yung mga kumbaga sa mangga siguro ano ba yung self-actualizing ano ng mga mangga di ko alam pero let's just say that uh, kapag sobrang dami ng bunga niya as in lagi siya na mumunga and then yung mga bunga niya sobrang sarap no hindi lang basta bunga eh matamis kung matamis yung mga hinog na bunga talaga nagsa-self-actualize na siya bakit siya nag-self-actualize? kasi nga na-fulfill niya yung mga needs niya and then yung full capacity ng pagiging mangga niya eh naging mangga siya talaga na pinakamataas na klase ng mangga. No, ganun din sa mga tao. Imagine nyo lang yung tao sa hindi mangga. Kung bagay yung mga unlimited potential ng humanity, ng isang tao. No, kunyari, for example, yung chinus niyang pat is being a psychologist. No, talaga yung pagiging psychologist niya is very high or very human. Actually, hindi, hindi siya limited sa isang, sa isang path. Eh. Being human talaga yung highest possible... Uh, stat ng isang human, not just a psychologist, not just an engineer, as a human. Ganun yung self-actualizing tendency, no? So, yun. So, what are the being values na conditions before you achieve self, uh, no? Kumbaga, ito yung special ingredient <laughs> ng isang tao para mapunta siya sa self-actualization needs, di ba? For example, kasi balik tayo dun sa analogy ng mangga. No? Eh, di naman lahat ng mangga eh, matamis yung bunga nila. No? And may mga mangga talaga na parang meron din naman mga mangga na matamis. Meron sila mga secret ingredient sa genetics siguro nila. Ganon din yung mga tao. Kung meron silang mga being values na ine-embrace na part ng kanilang, uh, kanilang view of life, eh, mas mataas ang chance na maging matamis din yung mga produkto na gagawin nila sa buhay nila. So ano ba yung mga B values na to? They are what uh, Maslow called meta needs no? to indicate that they are the ultimate level of need. Uh, he distinguished ordinary need, uh, motivation, and the motives of self-actualizing people, which he called meta-motivation. So, your meta motivation is characterized by expressive rather than coping behavior. No, pero talagang ganun la lang sila, as I mentioned kanina. And it's associated with B values. So, these values of sex actualizing people include truth, goodness, beauty, wholeness, transcendence of dichotomies, no? aliveness and spontaneity, uh, uniqueness, perfection, completion, justice and order, simplicity. Richness or totality, effortlessness, playfulness or humor, and self-sufficiency or autonomy. Kapag ang tao daw is nagsasubscribe sa mga values na ito, kapag naniniwala siya sa truth, goodness, and beauty, and so on, eh mataas, mag, mataas ang chance na maging self-actualized siya. And hindi, kumbaga, nagsasubscribe sa ideas na to hindi for the sake of subscription, but because ganun talaga yung buhay niya, ganun yung expressive uh, behavior niya, ganun talaga siya, ganun yung, ganun yung nabuhayan niya. Uh, matasing chance na maging siyang self-actualized. So deprivation of any B values results in metapathology or the lack of meaningful philo philosophy in life. So ito siguro yung sinasabi ni Maslow na metapathology. Although again, <laughs> ba't niya sinasama sa mga self-actualized people? Kasi pag hindi mo na ko yung B values mo, ibig, ibig sabihin hindi, ka na, hindi, hindi mo na fulfill yung hanggang safety needs mo. <laughs> Di ba? Parang you don't need to create another word for that. <laughs> Kasi nga, di ka na pumunta ng, di ka na pumunta ng, ano, di ka na pumunta ng self-actualization. Bakit ka pa magkakaroon ng deprivation of that need? Eh, sabi mo nga, sabi nga ni Maslow, hindi naman lahat pumunta doon. So, kung di ka nakapunta doon, hindi ka madedeprive doon. <laughs> di ba? Parang, Maslow, okay ka lang. <laughs> anyway, so, that's just me criticizing a theory. But you can answer, no? You can answer. The, you can have an answer regarding that criticism. Ani sa palagay niya don? Kung tama ba siya, tama ba ako, or maliba ako? Sabi niya lang sa mga comments or just email me about it. No? Anyway, so yeah. 
So, those are the B values. So, kailangan mag-subscribe yung tao doon. And once na nakapag-subscribe na yung tao doon, uh, mag- magiging na siyang self-actualizer. And according kay Maslow, may mga karakteristik no? ang, pag, ang mga self-actualizing people. So, what are these characteristics? So, number one is more efficient perception of reality. Big sabihin, they, disc- they can discriminate between genuine and fake. No? Not only in people, but also in literature, art, and music. No? Kumbaga, alam nila kung sino yung mga taong peke. Alam nila yung mga taong uh, inaano lang sila, binobola-bola lang sila. No? Kasi nakikita nila yung reality in a more efficient manner. Wala silang, uh, hindi sila, kumbaga, hindi nila kailangan yung opinion ng ibang tao para ma- ma- ma-manipulate sila ng mga taong yun. So, in literature din kasi apparently may mga fake na literature. Ano ba yung mga fake na literature? Siguro ito yung mga literature or art or music na kung saan. Very, uh, hindi sila authentic in a way na masyadong formulaic. No? Walang puso, walang spirito yung art. No? Because art is uh, something that, uh, kumbaga, yung art kasi ng isang tao, soul ng tao yun eh. Kumbaga, kung gano'ng kaganda yung quality ng isang art, Ganoon din ako ganda yung quality ng soul ng isang tao. But hindi eh, di, di ko na alam kung ano yun dahil di naman ako self-actualizer. So baka ganun lang. Okay? And then acceptance of self, others, and nature. So they accept themselves. No? Alam nila may limitations sila. Alam nila kung ano yung mga strengths nila. Alam nila kung ano weaknesses nila. And then sa others then they accept others. No? Kahit ano pa yung ugali nila. Kahit ano pa yun, They accept them. But that doesn't necessarily mean na uh, ano yun, ah, uh, si ano yun uh, yung parang pag ano uh, kinukonsente no hindi naman nila kinukonsente pag hindi nila gusto yung tao and of course the nature no parang same to with ano <laughs> same to with the uh, same syndrome of growth no unity with the self others and nature no? <laughs> so they lack defensiveness phoniness and self defeating guilt have a hearty animal appetite for food no hindi nila dinedenay yung mga pangangailangan ng katawang lupa nila And they are not overcritical about themselves or other people. And they are not uh, burdened by undue anxiety or shame. So, uh, their anxiety kasi talagang di mo naman maiwasan. No? Pero para sa kanila, okay, eh, ganun talaga. <laughs> or wala silang shame. Hindi naman, kumbaga, hindi naman wala silang shame. Kumbaga, may mga unnecessary shame kasi. For example, kunyari, yung sapatos mo, eh, hindi pantay yung design. No? Tapos nahihiya ka. May sense ba yun? <laughs> Kasi di naman titignan ng tao yung sapatos mo. Eh. Kasi ikaw mismo bakit tinitignan mo ba yung sapatos ng katabi mo sa jeep? Hindi naman, di ba? So hindi nila gagawin yun. So that's uh, unnecessary shame. Next is yung spontaneity, simplicity, and naturalness. So ang mga self-actualizers daw, they're very natural. No? Parang yung walang di... Kumbaga, ang ibig sabihin nga spontaneous, they are not really planners. No? Kung gusto nilang gawin to gagawin nila lang nila. But at the same time, they're not naive, they're not impulsive. And simple, simple lang yung buhay nila. They do not really need uh, too much. They do not really need uh, too much extravagance. And then parang natural lang talaga. They are very unpretentious. Kung baga, walang, uh, walang pagpapanggap. No? Kung ano sila, yun na yun. No? So, ayan. Uh, they are unconventional but not compulsively so. Uh, so, they are highly ethical but may appear unethical or non-conforming. So, may mga times daw kasi na mga self-actualizers. Is dahil iba ng level sila, in nagmumukha silang hindi conventional ibig sabihin nagmumukha silang outcast no nagmumukha silang outlier kasi nga iba yung ano nila and minsan nagmumukha silang unethical pero <laughs> dahil na conforming sila but when the situation warrants it they can be unconventional and con- uncompromising may, even at the price uh, kumbaga uh, may mga times na parang hindi na kumbaga hindi they can become unconventional if kailangan na talaga Diba? Uh, they ordinarily live simple lives in the sense that they have no need to erect a complex veneer designed to deceive the world. So, yun nga, walang pagpapanggap. Hindi sila nagpapang, hindi sila nagpo-post sa Facebook siguro para sabihin, ah, ganito ako, I'm very good. No? I'm not saying that posting something on Facebook is bad. I'm just saying that other people or self-actualizing people don't have the urge to do that just for the likes. No? Uh, kumbaga, Siyempre, other self-actualizers may post their, ano, just to share their achievements, just to share their uh, projects. 
but not because they want the shares they, they want the likes they want the reacts just they, they just want to do that no? may mga ganun yung mga self actualizers in short hindi sila cloud chaser <laughs> okay alam mo naman kasi yung isang tao pag cloud chaser siya di ba ah uh, yun next they are problem centering so hindi sila masyadong naninisi ng mga tao ang inaanalyze yung problema mismo no kasi usually yung mga ibang tao pag may problema ang uh, unang ang instinct nating mga tao ay sisihin kung sino may kasalanan di ba uh, that is our nature as people we tend to uh, we tend to blame others no but self actualizers they do not blame people they blame the problem no they hindi naman blame eh. actually they actually solve the problem themselves no Not, not literally solve the problems of the world. So, kumbaga, solve nila yung problem na meron sila, na kinakaharap nila with other people. Uh, and then, need for privacy. Self-actualizers are not really those people na gusto nilang pinaglalandakan lahat ng mga nangyayari sa buhay nila. <laughs> uh, kumbaga, they can become lonely, but they are very comfortable being lonely. No? Well, hindi sila insecure about being lonely. Parang again, parang yung syndrome of growth tsaka yung yung uh, 'di ba yung sabi ni from tsaka ni Erickson, uh, you have to be alone so that you can be more uh, more ano with yourself, no? Baga people who can who are comfortable being alone and being with other people are sign, sign of a being a good person, 'di ba? So, self-actualizing people may be seen as aloof and uh, uninterested, but in fact, their disinterest is limited to minor matters. So, kumbaga, may mga times kasi, uh, for example, social media. No? Ang dami mga bagay yung social media na hindi naman kailaga kailangan pansinin. So, wala na silang pakilang. No? I, I, I know some people talaga na they do not have social media. Not because they do not want, not because... Uh, Uh, they are compulsively doing so, but just because alam nila na wala naman sila mapupulot doon. May mga taong ganun. Maliwala man kayo ito, hindi. <laughs> May mga taong walang social media. <laughs> no? And I kind of uh, I kind of admire that kind of mindset. No? Kasi I tried to remove social media 100%, but I just cannot. No? Because I'm sometimes using it for work, I sometimes use it for uh, communication with other people. No? And Sometimes memes. <laughs> no, may mga memes din naman sa mga social media. But uh, as a compromise, ang ginawa ko na lang is in-unfollow ko lahat ng mga friends ko. Yung mga friends na 700 naka-unfollow lahat yan. And then naka-follow lang yung mga information center like TOH, Pag-asa, no? tsaka mga meme, mga meme suppliers ko. <laughs> Parang drugs eh, <laughs> meme suppliers. <laughs> oh, yan. So, but if you look at it, in, ano naman, memes are like, ano eh, Like candies for dopamine, di ba? <laughs> anyway, so autonomy. Uh, self-actualizers are very autonomous, meaning they they are not, uh, they do not really care about other people's opinion about what they are doing. You know? uh, they have the confidence that what they are doing is uh, good for them. You know? Hindi sila, hindi sila masyadong na, nasisira hindi nasisiraan ng loob sa mga criticism but at the same time hindi kumbaga they still take criticism but not to the point na uh, they will react negatively or uh, exaggeratedly on those kind of criticism no? this independence also gives them inner peace and serenity not enjoyed by those who live for the approval of others no? because Uh, you may, humans are we, being a social creature that we are. We always want to please other people. We want to, uh, other people to approve uh, our existence. No, so you must self actualizers. Now they do not really care about that. And then continued freshness of appreciation. So kumbaga they are, kumbaga they are very appreciative for everything that they are experiencing right here, right now. And then they tend to experience peak experiences, no? Kung familiar kayo kay uh, Mihai Ali Shikisent Mihai, uh, yung mga zone, no? Yung pagkakaroon ng zone. So that is peak experiences, no? Pag na, nasa zone ka na, yun, parang hindi mo na na nakikita or di mo na nararamdaman yung oras, di mo na na ano yung, ano ba, sa busy ka sa ginagawa mo and then very ecstatic ka, no? very, parang ka naka-high dun sa ginagawa mo, but not with drugs, of course. 
So these peak experiences are unmotivated, non-striving, and non-wishing. And during such an experience, a person experiences no needs, wants, or deficiencies. I mean, may, 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 siguro yung may iba sa inyo naranasan niya. For example, your writing, no? And nasa momentum pa sa writing, no? Nagsulat kayo, no? Nabigla kayo nung... Yung, hindi nyo alam na nagsusulat kayo, pero tuloy-tuloy yung nagsusulat. And then talagang tuloy-tuloy yung words, tuloy-tuloy yung mga sentences, tuloy-tuloy yung typing mo. And then uh, suddenly you realize that it has been eight hours since you start writing. Hindi ka pa kumakain. No? So that is peak experience. And then yung mga self-actualizers daw, they tend to experience a lot of those kinds of peak experiences. And then next is Jemin's Gash... Yeah. <laughs> Jemin's Shops Giffle. Uh, same with Ad Adler's uh, social interest. No? So uh, with no need to discuss further, basta yun nga, uh, the uh, self-actualizers care more about the society. Uh, and they're often saddened, exasperated, even enraged for the so shortcomings of average person. Parang ano, no? parang meme to eh, no? <laughs> Your weakness disgusts me. Parang gano'n. <laughs> di naman parang gano'n, di naman disgust. Yung parang... Uh, I understand you lower humans. <laughs> anyway, so Jim and Shafsky Pool, parang they really care about the society. Next, they have profound interpersonal relations. They have few uh, friendships, but they are very close. No? Democratic character structure, in short, they are not uh, racist. They are not sexist. No? If one anime character na madi-describe kung may democratic character structure, that would be Luffy of One Piece. No? Na siyang pakialam sa class, sa color, sa age. No? Kahit isa ka pang Tenryu Bito, kahit isa ka pang Celestial Dragon, kung uh, binaril mo yung uh, kaibigan ko, susuntokin kita. Ganun yung democratic uh, character structure niya. Na siyang pakialam sa color, age, or gender ng isang tao. Basta kung ano yung paniniwala niya. Actually, kung titignan mo, self-actualizing si Luffy, eh, di ba? Uh, very self-actualizing na character, ang character ni Monkey D. Luffy. So, so kung hindi niyo pa pinapanood niyan, panoorin niyo na. Kaso, sa manga, 1,015 chapters na yun. Good luck. <laughs> sa anime, 1,000... Hindi ko alam kung ilang episodes yung nanonood ng anime. Masyado mabagal. Puro tinginan eh. Ayan. So, next is yung discrimination between means and ends. So... Self-actualizers can discriminate what is means in an end. No? So, for example, in terms of exercise, uh, people, uh, most people, they do exercise not because they love exercising, but because they want to lose weight. No? Yung means of losing weight, that is the end, is yung exercise. Uh, yun nga lang, yung mga normal, or normal, yung mga average people, they tend to forget that Uh, exercise is a mean to, means to an end. Kaya minsan, hindi nila na, di ko, hindi nila nakokommit yung sarili nila sa exercise. Kasi, hindi nila alam na means yun eh. Kung para sa kanila, parang ayaw ko na, ayaw ko na, ayaw ko na yung means na to, parang na mahirap. But self-actualizers, they know what a means and ends are. So, if, ang, uh, and usually, sa mga self-actualizers, means for them are actually ends in themselves. Meaning, If uh, you exercise para sa kanila, it's already something that is fulfilling for them. They do not need to see the, lose, uh, the losing of weight. They just want to exercise. Diba? So they know, the, 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 they know kung ano yung means and ends. And usually yung mga means para sa kanila, they are very enjoyable for them. No? Right now, for example, uh, ang ends is yung grad school. Or yung license, uh, license uh, psychometrician or psychologist. Aning means mo dun? Mag-review ka. No? Uh, Self-actualizing people, they will review. Yes, they will review. And they have the end, but they know that the, uh, the means is already more en uh, enjoyable naman yung means. So, yun, enjoy nila yung review. Yun, enjoy nila yung learning. Diba? And then, uh, eventually, syempre, no? uh, makukuha din naman nila yung license if that's the case. No? So, and then next is yung philosophical sense of humor. Healthy people see little humor in put-down jokes. No? They may poke fun at themselves, but not masochistically so. They make fewer tries at humor than others, but their attempts serve a purpose beyond making people laugh. So, sense of humor, especially in the Philippines, is, I don't know. 
Uh, puro laugh track yung mga nasa YouTube. Parang din, sense of humor ba yun? O suggestion? Ewan ko. Uh, and some people, I know in the Philippines, they are joking at the expense of others, no? Like Vice Ganda, no? I'm, yung nangyari sa nila, Jessica So, if you remember, no? Uh, I have a source. I'm not accusing him, no? So, may mga ganun talaga nangyari. So, uh, they are making fun of others just to put up the joke. Uh, self-actualizers, on the other hand, they do not do that. Ang subject of uh, comedy nila is usually themselves. Yung mga sabili nila. So, and then not not because they are masochistic about it. No? Hindi naman dahil sila, nag enjoy sila neurotically dun sa fact na dinidepreciate nila yung sarili nila. But they just want other people to laugh. No? And they're, they are sometimes uh, giving in a message. No? Parang meron silang gusto sabihin din. No, beyond the laugh, beyond the beyond the the joke, meron pang humor na philosophical in a sense. Uh, ang hirap kasi ng explain kasi hindi din naman ako self actualizer so di ko alam, di ba? So that's a philosoph- philosophical sense of humor. And I find myself my sense of humor is not that kind of uh siya common, no? Means na ako kasi natatawa na ako sa mga dad jokes sa mga puns. Pwede na ako doon. Anyway, so next is yung creativeness. Ang dami, no? So, alam, malapit na itong matapos. So, creativeness, uh, as I've mentioned, self-actualizers have the tendency to create something, no? Uh, but they, di naman necessarily na artists sila agad, no? May mga self-actualizers na hindi naman sila kailangan magkaroon ng arts, but they can be creative in their own way. Yung example nga dito is yung parang yung mother-in-law niya na tita niya din, syempre. Uh, hindi siya artist pero self-actualizing siya kasi yung creativity niya sa soup na ginawa niya is very superb. No? Parang, para kay Maslow, that is already creativeness. And then lastly, last na ba to? Yes, lastly is yung resistance to enculturation. So as you all know, culture is a very, uh, very powerful force in influencing our uh, personality. And self-actualizers, they are resistant to enculturation. Meaning, hindi nila ina-adapt yung culture na meron yung surrounding area nila. They have the sense of detachment from their surrounding and are able to transcend to a particular culture. Because they are very autonomous. Parang alam nila yung sa kanila, yung way nila, that is the, the better way. No? Hindi, nila, hindi nila kailangan mag-conform sa ginagawa ng ibang tao. Hindi nila kailangan mag-conform sa sinasabi ng kultura na meron sila. Kasi alam nila hindi yun yung, kumbaga, hindi yun yung para sa kanila. No? Hindi naman nila sinasabing mali yung kultura ng mga tao. Ang sinasabi lang nila is hindi mag-work para sa kanila yung kultura ng ganon. Di ba? Eh, so may mga talk, yung tinatawag nila mga toxic Filipino culture. Di ba? May mga talaga may mga, hindi lang naman yung, kumbaga, lahat ng kultura may toxic part. Hindi no? lang naman yung mga Pilipino. So, kaya yung mga self-actualizers, they tend to choose what kind of values in the culture they want to adopt. Self-actualizing people do not waste energy fighting against significant customs and regulations of society. Such folk ways as dress, hairstyle, and traffic laws are relatively arbitrary. The self-actualizing people do not make conspicuous show of defying these conventions. So, yung mga self-actualizing people, they do not uh, oppose culture just for the sake of opposing culture. Now, they can be normal, they can dress the way other people dress, no, in their surrounding, but hindi uh, na sila nagme-make ng effort para pakita na, ay, I am unique, I am, I am not, uh, I am different from other people. Wala silang pakilam doon, kasi uh, it's uh, useless for them. No? Parang it's not, uh, it's very you, uh, waste, wasteful yung ganun. Uh, they just want to do what they want. <laughs> yun yung mga self-actualizer. That's why I'm, I'm slowly being convinced that Monkey D. Luffy no, and his uh, quest for becoming the Pirate King, also known as being, being to be able to do what he wants, is actually a self-actualizer. Uh, no? Yung character sketch na si Luffy, yung self-actualization niya mataas. <laughs> uh, parang magandang gawa ng video sa YouTube. Anyway, so... Yun. So those are the characteristics of a self-actualizing person. Now, uh, as mentioned kanina, not all people are able to become self-actualized. And one reason, sabi ni Maslow, is that people 
sometimes have this what he calls Jonah complex. So kung kilala niyo si Jonah, si Jonah yung biblical character na kung saan inutusan sa ng Panginoon, napuntahan ng isang lugar para i-preach na mangyayari to sa kanila pag di sila nagbago. And then ayun, uh, kumbaga very favored si Jonah, no? parang mataas ang tiwala ni Lord sa kanya. Pero si Jonah mismo hindi siya tiwala sa sarili niya. So anong ginawa niya? Imbis na sumakay siya papunta doon, sumakay siya sa, pa, sa isang barko na papunta sa ibang lugar. And then eventually yung si God, eh, tas parang sabi niya, ah, saan ka pupunta? Tapos bigla niyang binagyo yung barko. And then sabi niya sa mga kasama niya sa, sa barko, itapon niyo ako sa dagat kasi galit si Lord. <laughs> Dinisubay ko siya. Tinapon siya. And then kinain siya ng baliyan. <laughs> So, and then, to make the long story short, nagsisi siya, and then pumunta siya dun sa ano. So, what, uh, what does that biblical story tells us? Parang sinasabi niya that we are, uh, that we can achieve something more in our life, but we choose not to because we are afraid. No? We are afraid that uh, we, we will not be able to do it. We will not be able to achieve our full potential. So, that is Jonah Complex. No? Uh, So parang si Maslow, nagkaroon din siya ng ganito sa buhay niya kasi taas ng IQ niya pero tamad siya. And then most people, he reason that uh, have a private ambition to be great, to write great novel, to be a movie star, to become world famous scientist and so on. However, when they compare themselves with those who have accomplished greatness, they are appalled by their own arrogance. Who am I to think that I could do as well as this great person? So people allow false humility to stifle creativity and thus they prevent themselves from becoming self-actualizing. So this is almost the same with Adler's safeguarding tendencies. No, Parang ang sinasabi ni Adler, lahat tayo may pangarap tayo na mag-self-actualize. May pangarap tayo na yun niya, maging great author, great movie actor, no, great YouTuber or something like that. But uh, may mga times kasi talagang i-compare natin yung sarili natin sa mga naka-achieve na nun. No? Which is unfair by the way. <laughs> Kasi yung mga tao, kunyari for example, si PewDiePie, si Kong, si uh, kung sino-sino pa mga YouTuber, they are very, si Paulul, <laughs> very high name mga yan. Matagal na sila sa YouTube, matagal na silang nag-grind, matagal na sila. And then ikaw na mag-umpisa pa lang kung compare mo yung sarili mo sa greatness nila. Mm, unfair yun, di ba? But anyway, that's beside the point. The point is, uh, once we compared the greatness of those kinds of people na na-achieve na yung gusto nating ma-achieve, And then, kukumpare natin sa sarili natin. What the hell, dude? Ba't <laughs> nangarap ka lang ganyan? Ang kapal naman ang mukha mo para pangarapin yan. So, uh, dahil parang feeling mo, mayabang ka, feeling mo parang, ang yabang ko naman pala, parang gano'n, yun marirealize mo. Tapos, ang mangyayari, magsa-self-sabotage ka. No? Parang hindi naman ako gano'n. Uh, false humility nga sa akin. So, hindi, mas stifle yung creativity and then, therefore, parang hindi mo na ipupush kasi parang na-pressure ka, kumbaga din sa mga greatness ng ibang tao. So again, this is almost the same with Adler. No? Yung safeguarding tendencies niya of excuses. Yung parang, hindi naman, hindi ko naman kaya yan. Masyado naman. Masyado naman akong uh, ambisyosa, ambisyosa. Pero sabi ni Maslow, eh, excuses lang yan. Just do it, sabi nga ni. Marami nagsabi ng just do it. <laughs> si Thanos, no? si Shia LaBeouf, si, si Nike, no? <laughs> Mga memes. <laughs> so anyway, so that's John na complex. So sa psychotherapy ni Maslow, ang aim ng therapy is to embrace being values, no? truth, justice, goodness, and simplicity. And para ma-accomplish yun, the client must be from their dependency on others and their natural impulse towards growth and self-actualization can become active. So kailangan daw tanggalin yung bagiging too dependent natin sa ibang tao. So that yung mag-focus tayo sa sarili natin, sa self-esteem natin. And then eventually, mag-evolve yun dun sa truth, justice, goodness, and simplicity. So the goals of psycholo- psychology follow, psycho- psychology, the goals of psychotherapy follow from the client's position on hierarchy of needs because physiological and safety needs are prepotent. People operating on these levels will not ordinarily motivate to seek psychotherapy. Instead, they will stri- strive to obtain nourishment and protection. I guess this is the part wherein ma- ma-explain kung bakit sa Philippines is wala masyadong care or wala masyadong uh, pansin na binibigay ng gobyerno sa mental health. It's because most people, no, if not all, <laughs> most people in the Philippines have a hard time in safety and physiological needs pa lang. And they will not seek 
psychological treatment if their physiological state, physiological and safety needs are not even met. Diba? So, it's not that, kumbaga, for me, you can't really blame uh, Filipinos on why they do not really seek mental health. Uh, ano, kasi gutom sila, hindi uh, sila safe. Wala silang pambayad. So, it's really understandable that they will not seek. You know, but that's not to say that, that that is not the problem. no? So, it is really a problem. Because if hindi sila mag-guide, hindi sila mabibigyan ng uh, karampatang mental health, uh, mental health uh, support, eh, talagang magka-crumble down yung kanilang psychology. But what I'm saying is, this is uh, the reason why in a, in a sociological perspective, in a more broader perspective, eh, hindi talaga nag-move on yung, uh, yung mental health dito sa Philippines. Because only uh, most people are not even, siyempre, in gobyerno, ano ba yung inaano niya? Yung most people, kasi yung most people, sila yung boboto sa kanila. So, ang bibigay lang nila, sa, ang focus nila mga batas is yung mga uh, makakapag ano, sa most people. And yung mga most people na yun, they are more on the physiological and safety side. So, doon nagpo-focus yung government. So, hanggat hindi na na-fulfill yun, hanggat hindi naging safe, hindi nagiging, uh, hindi na, hanggat hindi, na, hindi nagiging stable yung financial and yung uh, yung pagkain ng mga tao, eh talagang hindi sila mag-move on sa so next stage, like love and belongingness yung esteem needs. Diba? Kaya yeah, may, may part din sa Philippines na cultural talaga na hindi mag-seek ng mental. Although yung effect kasi nun, yun nga, <laughs> yung mga nandun na sa needs ng, ano, nandun na sa needs ng uh, psychological needs, eh, nagkakaroon ng problem since walang support from the government. Diba? Kasi part din naman tayo ng, ano, part din naman tayo ng, ng Philippines. No? So, but again, uh, it's very complicated. No? Complicated ng lahat ng bagay. So, and people have their own agendas, politicians have their own agendas, groups of people have their own agendas. So, hindi natin, kumbaga, ang hirap ipinpoint kung sino may kasalanan. <laughs> Kasi in the first place, it's systematic na talaga. And I'm not delusional enough to say that uh, one person can fix it. It's a process talaga. <laughs> no? And as uh, ano nga kay, ano, kailangan muna is satisfy talaga lahat ng mga prepotent na need. So, yung bigla naging political yung discussion natin. No? So anyway, so yan. Uh, critic of Maslow. In terms of generating research, slightly above average. No? Dito nang galing yung mga modern theories like theories on motivation. Yung self-determination theory, may, ano dito, may roots sa, sa Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Falsification, it's slow because it builds on some concepts of psychoanalysis. If you can see, no, parang minerge na lahat yung buong psychoanalysis, psychodynamic perspective, no, from from the physiological, si ano yon, si physiological needs, ba? Sex and aggression, si si Freud hanggang dun sa existential needs ni Freud, no? Chaka love and belonging na si Erikson, chaka ni Sullivan dun sa taas, di ba? So tas di nagdagan yapa na self actualization. So, organization of knowledge, kasasabi ko lang, hi, no? lahat talaga na merge niya. Application, yes. Sobrang laki ng application ng, uh, ng hierarchy of needs. Although marami nagko-question dito, pero yung application niya sa mga organizations, no? uh, sa mga HR, ginagamit lagi yung hierarchy of needs eh, para ma-justify ma- yung mga kung ano. No? And then internal consistency naman, medyo low, especially sa self-actualization part. Kasi kanina nga, kung hinabang dinidiscuss yung self-actualization part, may mga part na ang hirap explain <laughs> Kasi self-actualization is hard to explain. Only people who are experiencing self-actualization can actually say something about self-actualization and understand how self-actualization works. And dahil ako, hindi, pa, hindi naman ako self-actualizing pa, no? anong medyo mahirap pa. Na, mahirap i-communicate no? yung mga idea. So, internal consistency can become clunky on that part, on that regard. And then, parsimony, it's okay. <laughs> okay lang siya. <laughs> and then, the concept of, uh, kasi, parsimony, parang okay naman siya. Magigets mo naman. Yung talagang self-actualization lang yung parang medyo magkakarang, huh? <laughs> what the hell? Ganun, di ba? Katulad ng discussion natin. And then, next, free choice over determinism, of course. no Humanistic to. Free choice ang branding nila. Optimistic, branding din nila to. Teleological, branding din ng humanistic to. 
uh, uniqueness and similarity. Kasi unique tayo in a way na iba-iba yung way of uh, fulfilling our needs. But similar tayo kasi para-paras tayo ng needs. Conscious, of course. Wala siyang pakilam sa unconscious masyado. Although, diniscuss niya ng konti. Pero hindi yun yung focus niya. And then, sabi niya, social influences from biology is a false dichotomy because according to Maslow, people are both influenced by both. And I agree with him. Uh, yun yung, yun yung, hindi yun, yun, walang versus uh, nature versus nurture. It's nature and nurture. Diba? So we are predisposed to be something and that predisposition, if allowed by the environment, will develop into something. Diba? So it, it works hand in hand talaga. Okay? So with that, uh, thank you for listening. It's a very long lecture, 1.5 hours. But uh, I want this to become a one meeting. Ano lang. Kasi marami pa tayong pag-uusapan. Okay? So maraming salamat sa pakikinig. If you have any questions, you can comment down below or you can uh, email me no? So sa mga students ko. So, maraming salamat and have a great day. Bye-bye. Ano yung bago talaga ako dito sa... sa... sa Google Classroom. Bye-bye!